Hi and welcome to a short lesson on stem and leaf diagrams. Now admittedly there aren't that many real life examples of these but they are really useful for organising data and analysing data. Here's a real life example here which is um, it's actually a train timetable from Japan and we've also got here um, we've also got um, a bus timetable from Russia. OK, both of which use the idea of stem and leaf diagrams in order to organize the data. Here we've got a set of data. If I was to say to you, find the mode, it might be quite time consuming to spot, especially if there were more days, more values in this data set. OK, um, but if you actually order it into a stem and leaf diagram, this can be a really useful tool to find things like, again, the median, the mode, the range, the, even the interquartile range. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So we have to understand how it works. I'll show you a quick key. So if we had the line here with a one, with a two next to it, that means the number 12, okay? So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just to roughly put the data into a stem and leaf diagram. Now I can see that um, the multiples of 10 involved are zero, one, two, three, and four. I think the highest value is maybe 48. So let's start to put these, these values in. One, seven, well, that would be 17. Uh, 17, 1, 7 would be this one. Then we'd have 2, 3, 4, 6, 3, 1, 1, 7, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 7 again. Okay, so then we've got 7. Uh, so 0, 10, 7 units, 4 tens, 8 units, 48. And we've got 29. Then we've got 39. And then we've got 42, okay? Now, it's not great at the moment. I've just organized it roughly. They do actually have to put them into order as well. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four again. I'm just gonna put each row into order now. So we've only got one at the top, so that stays seven. These two are the same, so they stay the same. In this one, I've got one, three, nine. In this one, actually, that can stay the same, can't it? One, two, six seven seven nine and this one i can change the order to slightly two six eight so it's in numerical order okay now how many data values do i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so if my number of values if is fifteen let me show you a quick trick to find the median value if that makes sense the medium sorry medium value is the n plus one over two, <laughs> let me say this, value, okay? So in this case, if my n is 15, what I do is 15 plus one over two, which is 16 over two, which is the eight value in my data set. Now, when I find the median, um, I actually, you know, put them in order first and say, well, look what's happened with the stem and leaf diagram. They're already in order. So let's just count through to my eight value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's my median. It's 32. Uh, what's my mode? Well, actually, when I was drawing this out, I noticed that it's actually a bimodal set of data because there's two modes and they're easy to spot now. I've got 17 and I've got 37 two modes, it's bimodal, you can have more than one mode. Okay, simple to find the range, the range is the largest value, subtract the smallest, so this one's 48, subtract 7, which is 41, and um, I could even find, yeah, I could even find the interquartile range actually, okay, it's using this same idea, so I've got 15 values, okay, the lower quartile value, um, what I do is I take n plus 1, but this time I'm kind of finding a quarter of the way through the data instead of halfway through the data. So it's this value, if that makes sense, n plus 1 over fourth value. Well, that would be 16, or 15 plus 1 over 4, which is 16 over 4, which is the fourth value. And I've completely run out of room there, I'm really sorry. So that's the fourth, fourth value. Um, which is, just do that, um, the fourth value is, let's count through, one, two, three, four, it's 21. Lower quartile is 21. The upper quartile, 
Okay, well, let's, let's notice there's three between each one, aren't there? So if this is fourth, this is eighth, um, three quarters of the way through the data would be three times four, surely, wouldn't it? It'd be the twelfth value. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This should be the twelfth value. This would be the upper quartile, which is 39. And so the interquartile range would be 39, subtract 21, which equals, I've really run out of room here, haven't I? Uh, which equals 18. Okay. All right, so some lots of useful data there. And as I said, if you actually had a couple of these stem and leaf diagrams, um, it'd be really useful to have a couple of them, maybe a couple of data sets, maybe one for boys, one for girls, something like that, that you can then go and use to compare. So you could use easily to compare perhaps um, you know um, how skewed the data is perhaps you might have more sort of longer rows towards the top than the bottom in some cases you know you could get a really good idea about how spread out the data is for instance and then obviously more sort of solid statistics like the ones that we found today okay so I hope that's been nice and helpful and I wish you well with the work <laughs>